Hey guys, welcome back to Generation What? What? Today we're talking about the three major differences between millennials and Gen Z. We're gonna keep it short, we're gonna keep it quick, we're gonna keep it sweet. First of all, the way they were raised. Millennials were raised by the loving, lovely, boomer, helicopter parents. Am I right? A lot of us were raised with our parents very much helicoptering over our every move, which created kind of this trophy generation of um, people that need consistent, constant feedback recognition. However, Gen Zers were often raised by Gen Xers, and Gen Xers saw the impact that the boomer helicopter parenting had on millennials, and they were like, uh-uh, we're not about that life, so we're gonna be the stealth fighter parents. So they are like the stealth fighter jet coming in only when they're needed. And they're still keeping a watchful eye out for their kids, but they don't wanna be all up in their business, am I right? So that created two very different personalities and generations. Gen Zers are coming up to be very independent and able to kind of fend for themselves, whereas millennials are kind of needing that extra little push it once they enter the workplace because they're not used to not getting that constant feedback recognition. Second of all, this really led into the way that they are working in the workplace. So millennials, we're still all about finding our passion, finding our purpose in work. Um, we really crave that, that development, that learning, that growing in any job that we take. Whereas Gen Zers are really craving that financial security because they've seen that millennials are still living at home with their parents. Looking at you, millennial. And they see that they don't want that life. They want to save up. So that a lot of them are actually taking jobs. I know a lot of Gen Zers who are taking jobs throughout high school, which for Gen Zers, it's like, how can we manage both making money and going to school, getting both of these things done? So they're very independent, financially secure generation, which is hopeful for the future. Third and final way we're gonna cover today because we just don't have time to go on and on and on and on and on. Gen Zers are actually preferring face-to-face -face communication in the workplace, whereas millennials are still more about the messaging, text messaging, as far as communicating at work. So of course you're gonna see Gen Zers on their phones all the time in normal life, but when you need to tell them something at work, that's actually their number one preferred way of communicating communication is face to face whereas millennials are still about that texting kind of quicker messaging life for the efficiency side of things. So while I could go on, that's all the time we have today. So we're going to wrap it up here with the differences between millennials and Gen Z. Really appreciate you tuning in and watching. Hopefully that cleared up a few things about these younger generations for you because trust me, they are very different and we don't want to start lumping them in together with the same characteristics because they're very separate distinct generations that have their own characteristics. So really excited to see what Gen Z brings to the workplace. Thanks for following along and see you next week on Generation What? You know how it's gonna go. Generation What is up? Ouch.